Here we go. Let's look at AI SEO art today. We're going to be doing a review on AI SEO art. Now this software is from the creators of, let's see, AI SEO AI. This is an AI content generation tool that they continue to expand and they have good reviews here. 388 reviews on that software. On, well, it's looking like about a 4.8, 4.9. So this tool is not available anymore. I think it came off of AppSumo a few months back, but you're welcome to go and check out that. So it's always nice to get um, a software developer to come back and do another tool especially if they have a good uh, track record and their first deal went well. So we have um, Dilyar Boomzin is the creator over here. And then we can come over here to AI SEO art, scroll down and you'll see it's the same guy, Dilyar Boomzin right here. So they are getting into the um, AI artificial intelligence um, graphic um, design or images. This is starting to be a big deal. I don't believe I've done any videos at all on LearnWire about uh, regarding this topic, AI type images, but I went ahead and went and picked up the software. This one does not look like it's stackable and they make that clear. Where is it at? Okay, right here. Uh, please note, this deal is not stackable. So um, it's kind of interesting when you when you go to purchase this, it does have a drop down for one, two, and three. You can actually buy three. I don't know if that means that you can now, if you buy three, you can gift it to other people. But nonetheless, I usually pay attention to what they say right here and I just go with what they say. So I only bought the one, $59. You're going to get 800 credits per month and 800 credits. Um, so each credit is a, a produced image. We're going to get into that um, soon, but you're going to have access to community images. So think about this. It looks like they have over 10 million images already. What this um, is going to be really cool because we're going to be able to go in there and basically use what other people have already created. And it's kind of like your own Pixabay um, or Pexels uh, because it's AI generated content, you're, you don't really have the rights to completely, um, like copyright it, um, if you will, um, any of the images because they're just, uh, generated by an engine, right? Um, so you were able to use other people's images as well. Um, and let them kind of do the hard work of actually creating uh, some of the topics, because once you get into this, it really is about how well you can create the writing prompt in order to get the right result. A lot of people uh, will say, you know, I'm not getting the results that I want. And that can be frustrating because every time you try and you don't get the image, then you kind of are like, well, and then it still takes a credit, right? So um, those are some of the frustrations that people have, but uh, nonetheless, you can use the community images. Um, there's an image reversal feature, which is pretty cool. We're going to look at that as well. You can take any image and then have it basically create unique images based off that image. Super, super cool feature. Watermark free images um, right here, desktop and mobile uh, responsive. So um, you could log in on your mobile device to create as well. So uh, $59 AI SEO art pretty much covered all that. Um, it's looking like it's at about a 4.2 um, out of five. Um, maybe, yeah, about a 4.2 out of 26 uh, reviews. Most people seem to seem to like this tool. We're going to go jump in and I'll show you it, but I'm also going to be using another tool. Um, if you have Chibi, this is a cool opportunity for you to um, use, utilize um, some of what they offer inside of the tool. So I'm going to go back to home. When you log into Chibi's dashboard, you're going to see this little tool right here, Studio Beta. We can click over here and this is um, a full blown tool that will allow you to create extremely specific um, prompts for creating AI graphics and art, right? So they're making it a little bit like the Photoshop type tools and I'll show you this. We'll go create something in here. All right. But before I do that, let's go back. Let's go into AI SEO art right over here. And we're going to just kind of look around at the dashboard. Um, we can go over to dashboard here and you're going to see that I've used about a 39 uh, credits so far, and it'll tell you AppSumo 1 plan and so forth. Uh, we can go over to the pricing that they normally have on their um, site. If you just came to their site, uh, monthly is $9 a month for 400 credits, 19 a month for unlimited credits. Um, so once you start using the tool, you may upgrade for a while if you're really using the tool hev um, heavily. Um, but it's really cool. So we're actually getting a really good deal on the AI 
SEO um, AppSumo plan, $59, and they're giving us 800 credits. I always like to see that they're they're doubling their growth plan, right? So they don't offer this plan as a normal price. So it's actually doubling their entry level um, plan right here. So um, pretty cool stuff. And they have a, a yearly plan right there as well. Um, they have a roadmap. I'll go over and show that real quick and then we'll dive in and, and create some graphics together. Um, so we have under consideration out painting. I don't know what that is. The ability to customize the AI to your own images. Now that is something that I would want because um, I'm going to show you a couple different examples in where I think that this shines um, where you're going to get really good uh, images and then where it kind of needs um, a little bit more work. And I think all AI um, image creators, even mid journey, because I'm testing mid journey out right now as well, um, will struggle with um, a certain uh, type of image. And I'm going to bring that up in a little while. Okay. So we have uh, make variations of your own images is right here and it's already planned and image to image, which will generate an image based on the provided image. Not really sure what that means, but uh, a lot of um, people are voting that as well in development folder system. It uh, looks like we already have the folders system and I'll go back over here to art and I can show you that there is, where is that at generated images? And then we can come over here to the folders and look, we have different folders right here. I can go over to lion and show you all these that I generated today using the tool, uh, some realistic, uh, photographs, clip art, uh, drawing type stuff. So really, really going to do well with, um, drawings and clip art type stuff. Okay. So I'm going to come back and generated cover images for articles and blog posts. There we go. This right here, it brings up a perfect thing I wanted to talk about. So in development, they're already going with, um, you know, creating an engine, um, that an algorithm that will help create like blog post thumbnails or blog posts, um, thumbnails or uh, banners, right? Um, and that's what I know a lot of you that are in the blogging space, that's what you're looking for. You want to be able to create these unique high quality images and not have to pay 12 bucks a pop for them um, or, or, or have deposit photos and, and you're spending a few bucks per image. And, um, you know, it gets pretty pricey. So generating cover images for articles and blog posts is exactly where my mind went using the tool without me even seeing this in the roadmap. So this is definitely uh, something that I'm, they have it in development, which is super cool. And then they've shipped all these over here, add image reversal URL, add image reversal. So you're welcome to pause and uh, look at that. So. Um, we're going to come back in here. I'll show you. So here are the lion images and I kind of went in and I'll show you what I did over here. Okay. So, um, I went in and I went into uh, chibi studio and this is just super cool that Chad built this tool and you're going to go ahead and you're just going to type in lion and then it's going to automatically create a comma here. And then now we can go through, um, all these tools on the top. And then for each one, you have multiple options, right? So we're going to go to style and you can go into drawings over here. I'm going to be looking at an illustration. We can go with line art. We could create coloring pages with this super cool stuff. I'm going to just show you kind of what I did. If I can remember what this prompt, I went with illustration and I'm not sure what I went with in, in here, but I'm going to go with poster for now. And then I'm going to go into, I'm going to skip painting. Oh no, painting is good. I like digital art. So I went with digital art right there. And then um, I'm going to skip anime or origami industrials. So let's do something. Um, and then you have all these different um, artistic movements. I mean, look at all this, just incredible stuff. We could come up with some really cool stuff. Um, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to leave that one out for now, just for this one. Hmm, I thought there was more over here that I found last time, but either way, let's just pick one of these for fun stone wall. Then we're going to go over to brushes over here and I want to go with colored pencil here and then we're going to go, but they have uh, inking, painting, luminance, all kinds of good stuff, materials over here. Oh, this is where I chose that. So you can go oceans, um, the different elements, right? And you can add different textures as well. Let's go for fun with this one. And then colors, I went with colorful and then AI, and then you have different, um, what are they? Color swatches right here. And then AI, you can actually have it focus on something as well. And we'll do that in a sec, but right here, then I also add in right here, I add in, um, I'm going to add that in right there. 
copy prompt, go over to AI SEO art. And we're going to go over here and go with graphic design right here. I'm going to paste that in right there. And you can choose from square, horizontal, or vertical. I'm going to go with horizontal. They have some advanced setting. This is where you're going to choose your folder. To create a new folder, you're just going to go to add folder. And then you can just type the folder name. This could be your website or it could be a project or um, it could, um, off the first one, I just put lion. If I'm going to create a bunch of lions, I'm going to go ahead and select that each time I start uh, creating stuff or it's not going to end up in a folder. Okay. Um, and then if you type something in here, we'll try this out in a minute. Auto complete with AI as well. Really cool stuff. Let's go generate. Okay, for some reason, the elementary and the kids and all that was not working for me. So I just went ahead and took it off. And we went with this uh, is our prompt right here. And this is what it came up with. Pretty cool uh, prompt right here. You could use some image. We could say white background right here. So that's pretty cool. It automatically is going to save every image that you create into this folder, whether you like it or not. Um, I think, I, I don't know if we can go in there and remove images or not, but... Um, so one of the things that I think that they would be really cool, I, I don't know, I guess it's a plus and a minus. Um, the minus is that it only does one image at a time. And you may want to get like, you know, three or four concepts um, from one prompt at a time to kind of look and, and just let the, the system go out and create more. But it's really easy to just create the generate button again, right? Every time I push the generate button, it's going to take away. I'm going to go ahead and go to dashboard and open this. It's going to take away more credits every time I push that, right? So we're at 757 right now, and then now we're at 755. Um, so then it created another one, right? So really cool. So we can just create the, just continue generating this, uh, pushing the generate button and getting more. So that's cool. Um, you know, that's, it's a, the plus to it is that you're not taking three or four credits every time you hit the generate button. And if it's only creating one or two good ones, then you would be wasting credits every time you push that button, right? So it's, I mean, there's advantages and disadvantages to only creating one at a time. I think it allows you to focus on what was just created um, and so forth, right? So we'll, we'll come play with uh, more of this at, uh, uh, in a minute. But um, if you want to download this directly, you can download it. It's going to be in the current dimensions. Um, but if you want to scale this up, you're going to have to push the enhance button. And then you push the enhance button here. It's going to take another credit, right? So we can enhance this. Just go ahead and say enhancing. So look at the properties right here. It's going to change. It's going to blow this image up for us. Okay. I'm having a little bit of, of an issue with it enhancing. If you want to download, it doesn't take any more credits to just download the original version. So that's really cool. Uh, this is what you're going to get right here and I can zoom in and you can see it's pretty, it depends on what you're using it for. If you're going to blow this up as a poster, um, you may need to do the enhancement, but you may be able to get away with this for if you're just doing um, simple things. Um, you can see that it's pretty clear right there. Okay, so there's the image. Um, so you can download it from there. I'm going to see if I can go back into art and go into my, my generated images and one of them that I know that I enhanced earlier. I'm going to go to Lion. I think I enhanced this one right over here, but I don't want to enhance it again. So I'm just going to say download. I believe I enhanced this one already, so I don't know if it's going to show the bigger one. Nope. So that's one thing. Um, I'm not seeing where you can download the already enhanced because I know that I, I enhanced this one. I can go find it real quick for you. So here's the enhanced version um, where it blew it up and it still uh, shows pretty crisp uh, like. Um, I would have liked for it to not cut off at the top of the hair over there. There's not really anything we can do about that, but this just shows you an enhanced image. It's going to blow the image up, maintaining the same pixels, which is cool. Okay, we'll go back over to art. Now, um, we're going to look at the community images um, right over here. Um, these are all generated in, let's see, I'm not sure if you're able to choose if you want this, if you want your images to be in the community images or not. So I'm not really sure where you're able to assign those, but that's the community images. Also, um, let's see here. So I want to see if you can search inside of this community area. I'm not really seeing where you can search for it as well. Uh, inside of community images, I just, I don't see a search function to where we can go and search for images that are already done, but you can see right here, you could try this and it's going to copy this whole bit of text right here that someone came up with. Um, and you're going to be able to go and try that out. Okay. But I just don't see the search function over here. All right. 
So um, I want to do the drop down over here. Yeah, photography, portrait, concept, art, architecture, fashion, 3D, video games, graphic design, wallpaper, and uh, cinematic. Those are your main uh, types of art that you'll be able to create. You can use the auto complete. So if I said lion, I'm just using lion as an example. So, okay, so that's how you do it. You just type it in. Okay, <laughs> what an idiot uh, sometimes I am. Okay. So you just type in whatever you want right here, uh, money, and then money images that have been created are going to be right here. I think it struggles with money and things like that. That's really funny right there. Um, but uh, certainly those are community um, images. I'm going to go back to Lion. So once you type something in right there, community images will show up and you're welcome to use any of them. So that's what's really cool. Let people do the hard work for you and just go and grab this stuff. Really cool stuff. And then we could say autocomplete prompt with AI right here under Lion if we wanted to. And we're going to do concept art. And it just um, completely uh, wrote that entire thing for us right there. I'm going to say generate and just see what it comes up with. I don't know. That's that's a pretty dang big uh, thing it's coming up with. But there you go. Uh, that's what it came up with right there. So interesting stuff. Okay, so let's show the image reversal. I showed you that you have folders and everything as well. The last thing I want to show is the image reversal. So we can come over here. And I was trying to look at one of my blog posts um, about making money um, with animals, right? And um, you can see the difference between the two. So if I right click this copy link address, this is a this is challenging the AI. This is about as hard of an image as it's going to probably um, be. So you're going to put the image in right there and push search. Okay, so there's the image. We're going to say search right here. And then this is what the AI is coming up with. And you can see, like, look at the eyes, a lot of distorted um, things that you just would not want to put on your website, right? Um, the dog image right here is pretty cool. Um, that's that's actually usable right there. There's nothing weird about that image right there. But all these other ones with people and animals in the same image, I've tried it several times even before making the video. It's um, It really struggles with, right? So none of these are really usable. So you have to be careful. Um, with what you the different types but if we went and got a coffee image it would probably do a lot better so let's come over here and just say oh okay so i'm gonna say lion and we're under images right so we have lion images and i believe i used this one looks pretty cool we'll click on that right click uh, copy image address back over to ai seo art paste that in push search and you can see it does better with lions um it's doing it's doing a better job with these images right it's you're just telling it one thing um so yeah it's doing a little bit better job right there so um and you just have to you know like the ai right here there's just it doesn't look like there, sometimes it, there's just weird drawings weird things happening um that you just can't use this is funny uh, there's a lion with a black t-shirt on right there <laughs> super funny stuff and then this lion seems that has like five eight legs and stuff so you know it's not perfect this AI generation is not perfect. Um, it's they're in the very beginning stages of this. All of the uh, technology for even mid journey there, it's it's all kind of using the same technology and it's kind of hit and miss. Uh, but you can generate some really cool stuff with this. Um, you can try an example right here and push search. So it just finds an image that it um, already loaded and it does really well with these. Look at all these different landscapes that you can get created for you right so you take an image and it'll go and create an image based off of it okay so i'm gonna go back over to art one last thing and look at some of the generated um, images that i used the uh, chibi for and got um you know all this stuff right over here um you can also take this information here you can add a lion in right here and uh, push the enhance a regal looking line with an aerodynamic body and a vibrant mane. So you can actually take that and come back over here. Um, these are the generated images under the lions folder. And you can see um, at least half of them, I would say are usable um, in different uh, respects. You can actually go and upload this um, onto different sites and you could sell this as your own art. Um, and this clip arts would be really, so I did come up with some clip art pieces that I think would work really well. So it actually creates drawings and clip art and things like that really well it also handled just creating um lions it did a good job creating photographs of lions as well um i'm going to come back over and just put this uh, prompt in that we got over here from chibi right here enhancing 
um, a feature and we're just going to say that's concept art. I'm going to go with graphic design here and see what it'll come up with right here. All right. So there's one right there. You can also come back and say photography and push generate and it comes up with some pretty good images for lions. Okay. So that is AI SEO art. I think that, um, you know, it's a, it's a good deal. Um, I think that them giving uh, us, I'm going to go back over to dashboard, uh, giving us 800 credits. As you use the tool, you're going to get even better at using it and getting what you want out of it. But I mean, I've been fooling around with this for the last hour and I've only used 50 credits out of my 800. So um, I think it's a good deal. It would be cool if they did uh, at least one or two stacks, I think would be really cool. I think that some people that have a use for it would, would stack. Um, but this is AI SEO art. Um, it's looking pretty good and it's $59. You can go pick this up with the link below. And if you made it this far in the video, um, drop a comment. Um, also let me know if you want me to do the other one, which is, um, I think it's super machine. I went with AI SEO art first and I actually purchased it based on the reviews and everything. This one is a little bit, um, you know, iffy. Um, I would purchase it if you guys really want me to go and see if this one's uh, better or uh, something like that. It has some mixed reviews, but it looks like it is steady at 4.1 out of five and 190 reviews. So this one um, did really, really well. I think it's the first AI kind of generating software. And once it hit, um, they're giving a thousand credits per month and you can stack stack a maximum of five codes so leave a comment below just say uh, super machine if you want me to do a review on super machine as well all right thank you guys